Venice. Johns Hopkins Children's Hospital wrongfully imprisoned and beat a 10-year-old Venice girl and contributed to her mother's suicide. According to a jury that awarded her family more than $211 million in damages. On Thursday, the jury returned to Saint in a major legal defeat for St. Petersburg Hospital. The court found that hospital engaged in excessive and outrageous behavior in its treatment of Maya Kowalski and her family following an October 2016 emergency room visit. The girl's mother, Beata Kowalski, committed suicide after Maya was removed by the state and sheltered at all children for three months. The jury of four women and two men sided with the Kowalskis on every question they were asked to decide. They said that all of children's actions contributed to Beata's Kowalski's death in that hospital. Wrongfully imprisoned Maya because it prevented family from leaving hospital with their children. Compensation was awarded for hospital's decision to place then 10-year-old girl in a room monitored by cameras for 48 hours and to photograph taking off her shorts and training bra without permission of parents or court. An award was also given for behavior of the hospital social worker who took girl's photo and sometimes kissed her, hugged her, and made her sit on her lap. The verdict in the sometimes contentious eight-week civil trial in Sarasota County came on the third day of jury deliberation, while it was read court family, who had been struggling for five years to bring case jury, hugged each other while sobbing. Maya hugged her mother's rosary beads. In addition to the financial blow to all children, the case made global headlines when it was turned into a documentary called Take Care of Maya. The film, released on Netflix, was watched almost 14 million times in the first two weeks after its release in June. The final amount awarded to hospital will likely be even higher, as the jury found that hospital must also pay punitive damages for false imprisonment and battery. The purpose of punitive damages is to punish harmful behavior and deter similar behavior in the future. Hospital lawyers said they would appeal verdict due to clear and prejudicial errors and accused the Kowalski's attorneys of misleading jury. The facts law are on our side. We will continue to defend life-saving compassionate care provided to Maya Kowalski by doctors, nurses, staff of Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital responsibility of all mandated reporters in Florida. Speak out. If they suspect child abuse, take action. Attorney Howard Hunter said in a statement. Explore all your options in closing arguments on Monday. Greg Anderson, Kowalski family's lead counsel, called hospital's defense of its actions revisionist history that sought to blame family for hospital's mistreatment of Maya and her mother. He said all pediatricians want to punish a mother who dares to question their medical expertise. What was the purpose of all this other than arrogance and tea?